Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So a couple days ago when Act 7 came out and I posted my initial uh, easy path guide in uh, 716 I said it is the clapback path which is still in my opinion one of the easier lanes because clapback can be cheesed by your standard human torch and sunspot options and that is exactly who I recommended using in that video. So we can see exactly why because uh, thanks to clapback Basically, every time incinerate is applied to opponent, the clapback node tries to apply incinerate back at me. Obviously, human torch is incinerate immune, and every time he would be incinerated, you just gain a smolder charge instead. So what happens is you build up your smolders incredibly quickly, and with that, uh, opponents just drop down like it's nobody's business. Now this more is being a bit stubborn. That's fine. We're gonna get that level two out of him. But there are alternative options. So let's just get this ebony more down and done with. And uh, before I go any further, uh, I didn't come up with this. It was a subscriber of mine who messaged me, told me to try it out and send me some video footage for it as well. So huge shout out to Newland Theory. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to the nitty bitty grit in a moment. But at this point we have like 42 smolders. So every single incinerate deals a ton of damage to that ebony maw and we can see his health absolutely melt away. So it's very, very easy way how to complete this lane. However, not everybody has Human Torch or maybe don't have him ranked or leveled up. There is a very, very effective alternative, largely thanks to this special science node that lets uh, science champions ignore nullify. It gives them immunity to nullify. And whenever a nullify or poison specifically fails to apply to the attacker due to an immunity, they gain a fury passive increasing their attack by 80% for 60 seconds. So since it is poisons, we're going to be bringing in Abomination and we're going to get some very, very interesting results. Especially, obviously, if we combine Abomination with Red Guardian, that means we can inflict a lot of poisons on opponent. And just to spice things up, we're going to bring in Mr. Fantastic and She-Hulk just to give those powers things. Because Abomination's poisons and the powers things, both of them, do change and increase based on the modified attack value. So in this case, the more Furies we get, the more attack we have, and the stronger the poisons, and the stronger the powers things, <laughs> and it all leads up to some very impressive damage output. In this case, from a six star rank one abomination with absolutely no boosts, no suicide masteries, nor any other kind of like damage buffing trickery going on aside from just the interaction with that node in itself. So at this point we could see that we had like 10 Furies active, unfortunately a bunch of them expired. And Mr. Fun uh, against Mr. Sinister, especially in this fight, because every time he throws his level 1 he tries to throw those poisons back at us, we get even more poisons even quicker, and sorry, even more Furies even quicker. And that was a nice 18k medium finisher there. And the entire fight lasted like 51 hits. Despite Mr. Sinister's region, despite uh, Abomination being rank 1, despite anything else. And those are some like pretty much 400k health pools. I think the Scarlet Witch was 360, but then we're gonna have like Venom Pool like 400 plus. But yeah, let's just go in there and see how it works in this matchup against Scarlet Witch. So unfortunately it took that in the block, but we're still going strong. Absolutely no complaints. I should st stop taking these and blocking away them properly. But we can see that Scarlet Witch is absolutely melting here. Again, some very impressive mediums. And I'll just let the poison do the job. So how many hits was that? That was 25 hits. 25 hits to deal with 360k health. Again, no boosts, no suicide masteries, a six star rank one abomination. And uh, I know some of you might ask in the comment section, uh, abomination does not have to be duped for this to work. And you just need the red guardian synergy. That's literally the only thing you need. Anything else here is kind of extra. 
we can see again a bunch of furies a ton of damage a lot of base attack damage but that poison damage in the background is working also ever so hard huge amount of power sting and uh, yeah that venom pool doesn't really stand a chance we have like 35 hits here he tried to throw a special attack so power stings got him down again 35 hits for 400k plus venom pool <laughs> that's quite crazy and it's definitely quite fun certainly enjoyable now against dr doom there is another thing uh, that some of you might not know and could find useful so mr fantastic pre-fight ability is that petrification ray is basically a petrified debuff and uh, whilst dr doom has a petrified debuff active on him he's unable to enter his auto hazard which makes fighting dr doom a lot simpler so only thing you really kind of have to worry in these matchups will be awaiting this guy's level one which I'm gonna try and do the best I can and again knocking him down refreshes the petrify whoopsie I got knocked down myself but in this fight as we can see uh, doing plenty of damage not too much to worry about maybe not quite as quick as the previous ones but still it's Dr. Doom it's quote unquote the hard fight on the lane Dr. Doom is always annoying to fight against and Abomination in this case has perfect weapons because Power Sting obviously benefits from Doom throwing all of those special attacks no Aura of Hazareth so you can keep on knocking him down easily without much to worry about except here I messed up whoopsie so at least i threw my and i ate this one C come on i am bet i can do this i can do this come on there we go and then we have only one fight left on the lane and this will be pretty much the entire lane done in like under 10 minutes again with a six star rank one no boost or nothing so it's very cheesy <laughs> it's a crazy amount of damage but in this fight i do have to try and be careful because i only have like 20 percent health left and uh yeah i don't want to mess up too much but i think the point the main point of this video has been conveyed extremely well and unfortunately i did mess up i should have tried to block that one so not the best display of skill by any means we're gonna finish off the fight with uh human torch because i do want to arrange my abomination but uh yeah abomination did fantastic job keep in mind that human torch here is a rank 3 champion abomination was rank 1 so i just need to get some temperature up a bit here and then we can go to town why couldn't i do that when i was using abomination hmm but here we go we got some nova flames going some more power things and a bunch of small dust. so human torch obviously is absolutely fantastic option as well but as i said before if you want to have some fun definitely please do consider using abomination and then for the boss fight as i said before you can use quake you can use human torch i think venom should work just about fine as well and I do think you can run on cheese it. Should we try it? I think she had that. No, let's double check it before we finish the video. Can you run on cheese this boss as well? So there's the back blast. Oh, back blast would interfere with that. So you can't run on cheese it because of back blast, I believe. Or maybe you can. Should we at least give it a go? I mean, back blast is probably gonna mess us up. But it would kind of be fun try because i probably won't get the chance otherwise so let's go with ronan i suppose instead of well it doesn't matter i'm gonna use it instead of human torch because if i don't finish this path it doesn't matter i already have done it so let's see let's see what happens here with ronan 
do have class disadvantage, that's perfectly fine. She's gonna start awaiting very soon. Okay, she power drains as well, so it might not be as... straightforward. Obviously this stun won't last at all. Yeah, no, Ronan here is probably not the greatest option. But either way, uh, Abomination definitely is a fantastic option. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a go yourselves. Try out Abomination on this lap back and uh, I don't know if I forgot the name. But uh, yeah, and if you did like the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the good buttons and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.